I came across some undocumented keyboard shortcuts for quick navigation in Premiere Pro. I've done quite a bit of searching on the web in the Adobe documentation and on YouTube, and I can't find any information on these shortcuts. And that's a shame because it can be really useful to make editing easier and faster. So let's get into it. Welcome to the video darkroom. These shortcuts all relate to the extended keyboard. That is the keypad that is found at the right side of the normal keys. It generally has about 20 keys, or maybe 16 keys, and they include numbers, operations like add, subtract, multiply, and direction keys, depending on which mode it is set to. Normally, there is a button that sets, it, sets the keypad to either standard or numlock. If it's on numlock, that means the numbers take priority rather than the direction keys. If you have a larger laptop, you may already have an extended keyboard. And if, like me, you use an external keyboard, it will most likely have the extended keys. So how do we use them in Premiere? If you have the timeline active, and you can make it active either by clicking on it, click on any panel, it will make that panel active. We click on the timeline, make it active, or we type shift and three, then, and by the way, that is the normal number three that's normally at the top of your keyboard, as opposed to the three that you may have on your extended keyboard, which will do something different as we'll explain. But if you type shift and three, the normal number three, it will activate the timeline. Shift and four, for example, will activate the program monitor, but we'll go back to the timeline. So if the timeline is active and uh, you type a number into the extended keypad, like 10, 0, 0, you'll see that that number appears in the playhead position counter, which is here. And if you press enter, on the extended keypad, it will take you directly in your timeline to that particular location. So the playhead counter has hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. We typed in 10, 0, 0, so that took us directly to 10 seconds. If we type 50 and then 0, 0 for no, no additional frames and press enter, it takes us to 50 seconds on the timeline. That's really useful. Now, in addition to that, if you were to press the plus key on the extended keypad and then enter in 40, 0, 0, it would move you forwards when you press enter by 40 seconds on the timeline. And if you were to use the minus key on the extended keypad and press 50, 0, 0, for example, it will take you back by 50 seconds on the timeline. So that's how they work. You can just enter a number. It will take you directly to that location. If I wanted to go to one minute, I could type in one for one minute, zero, zero for no seconds, and zero, zero for no frames. Press enter, and we're taken exactly to one minute on the timeline. So that's going directly to a location. The other examples were typing plus. If we type then plus one zero 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 zero, that's one minute, no seconds and no frames and press enter. We've now advanced to two minutes on the timeline. So you can move forwards and backwards directly to a specific place that you want to go to. Now let's suppose, for example, you want to use this in a meaningful way in editing. And we're at this point, 28 seconds. Let me just move back to exactly 28 seconds. And we want to create a gap of five seconds in the timeline in order to enter an image or something else that we want to put into it. Well, my suggestion would be that you use the razor tool or, or type shift control K, which will cut everything that's on the timeline. If you then type A, you will have selected, the, you will, as a tool, you will have selected the select forward tool. So we select everything forward. Now, when we have clips selected and you enter a value into the playhead counter, it will move those clips by that amount. So if, for example, we want to move them by five seconds forward, we would enter on the extended keypad plus 
five seconds, zero frames, press enter, and we've automatically now created a gap in the timeline of five seconds. If we wanted to move it back five seconds, that would of course take it back to exact, take them all back to exactly the place that they were. So that would be minus five, zero, zero, enter, and it's taken them back by five seconds. So you can move one clip or all the clips or whatever selection of clips you want, you can move them by frames, by seconds, by minutes, whatever you need to do, as well as going to a specific place in your timeline. Now, the final thing that I want to uh, let you know about the use of these keys is that if you have the program monitor selected, and I'll just type shift and four, we now have the program monitor selected. And if we type in there, let's say we want to go to one minute, we just type in on the extended keypad one zero zero for no seconds and zero zero for no frames, and it will take us immediately to there in the program monitor. You can also do it in the source monitor. I don't have a, um, a clip open in the source monitor, but it would work just exactly the same way. So whether you're in the program monitor or on the timeline, you can move to a specific location or you can move clips by a certain number of frames to a, to a particular location or forwards or backwards by whatever value you type into the playhead position counter. And the way to do it, as we've said, is use the extended keypad on your computer. If you find that useful, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to the Video Darkroom. See you in the next one.